After decades of space exploration, NASA is planning to return to Venus, Earth's closest yet perhaps the most overlooked of our neighbors. NASA's new administrator, Bill Nelson, a former U.S. senator, announced two new robotic missions to the solar system's hottest planet, Venus, between 2028 and 2030. One of the missions that has been named Da Vinci will analyze thick, cloudy Venusian atmosphere. The mission will aim to determine whether the Inferno planet ever had an ocean and was possibly habitable. A small craft will plunge through the atmosphere to measure the planet's gases. This mission will be the first US-led mission to the Venusian atmosphere since 1978. The second mission, called Veritas, will seek a geological history by mapping Venus's surface. We hope these missions will further our understanding of how Earth evolved and why it's currently habitable when others in our solar system are not. Planetary science is critical in answering key questions that we have as humans, like, are we alone? What implications beyond our solar system could these two missions have? This is really exciting stuff. And it's an emerging area of research for NASA. Now, these new missions to Venus beat out two other proposed projects to Jupiter's moon, named Io and Neptune's moon Triton. In the early days of space exploration, the United States and the Soviet Union sent multiple spacecrafts to Venus. In 1962, NASA's Mariner 2 performed the first successful flyby of the planet. And in 1970, the Soviet Union's Venera 7 made the first successful landing. In 1989, NASA used a space shuttle to send its Magellan spacecraft into orbit around Venus. The European Space Agency put a spacecraft around Venus in 2006.